Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tale reading. In this reading, we're going to find out what does your person secretly want to confess to you. Today is the 14th of February, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 9.15 a.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. What does Virgo's person secretly want to confess to Virgo? Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we've got two queens here. One is in reverse, one is in upright. Queen of Swords in reverse right here. Right, <laughs> right here. And the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now the King of Swords is somebody very, very calculative, um, very strategic, but also can be a king who is very cold. So Virgo, this person, your person okay it can be anybody whoever is on your mind right now um or whoever you're associated with we've got again the king of swords deep down right next to it with the four swords in reverse you see how this these swords are in reverse and this one is in and up right so it makes me feel like even though they are standing their ground um it's like that energy, like I'm right, but deep down they have doubts because they're not sure if whatever they've said to you um, or done to you could be cutting you off or telling you off. Um, it's like I'm standing by what I've said, what I've done, the decision that I've made, but actually deep down I'm not very sure if I said the right thing. I'm not really sure if I did the right thing, okay? This is also a very restless energy now look at the judgment and well first so your person secretly wants to say to you that they did something wrong um, they may have made the wrong judgment call but they don't want to tell you they don't want you to see it um, because the queen of swords and well first it's like see I told you I knew I was right so it's like that energy of them not wanting you um, to say see I told you so Okay, <laughs> um, so they secretly want to say to you that or confess to you that you were right. But it somehow feels like they want you to think that you were not right. Okay, they want you to think that they're right. But deep down, they secretly want to confess to you that you were right. Whatever you've said to them, right? Um, it feels like now the king and the queen here swords king of swords queen of swords in reverse maybe there was um certain words being exchanged conversations but it felt kind of like um it could be an argument okay because swords indicates communication so something about certain communication that both of you have had both of you have had or whatever you've said to them they secretly want to confess to you that actually you've got a point you're right but i'm not I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it look like or make it seem like you're right. I still want you to think that I'm right. I hope that makes sense. Okay, the fool here is a mother. So, your person is really want to say to you that they've been a fool. They made, they made a mistake or made mistakes. Okay, ten of swords, and wrong first. A lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. So your person could be an air sign, but could also be an Aries, could be a fire sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, doesn't matter, can be any sign, okay? Now the Ten of Swords on verse, it's actually that energy of like, I made a mistake, I wish I didn't, I wish the way things ended um, wasn't in such a way, okay? Seven of Wands in love verse, they secretly want to confess to you that they actually want to fight for this connection, but they're not going to. It looks like they don't want to because, it, again, this energy of I don't want to admit that I was wrong 
right? And the two of wands here is in my first. Bear in mind again, it could go vice versa. Two of wands in my first, a decision again that they may have made that I feel they are doubting it. Okay, they're starting to feel like as though, like, okay, I think I said the wrong thing. I think I did the wrong thing. Um, Nine of wands in my first. A lot of energy that shows a certain defeat, hurt, pain, ending. So this person, your person may secretly want to confess to you that it was very painful for them. Um, they couldn't sleep at night. Four swords in my verse, they can't stop thinking about you. Um, also, one thing I'm seeing here is that they know that you're hurt. Okay, nine of wands in my verse. They secretly want to confess to you that I know you're hurt because of me. I made the wrong judgment call. Mm. And it seems as though, and, and I, I caused, I was the reason why you stopped fighting for this connection, okay? I was the reason why you, you are the way you are. Because the Queen of Cups here is a Queen of Love, right? Now, the Queen of Cups is kind, compassionate, empathetic, uh, understanding. So they seem to want to confess to you that you have been understanding towards them, but they know that they've pushed you too far. They've pushed things too far, okay? Let's see more. Four Pentacles in my verse, the sun, see? They finally have this clarity. Um, whatever you said to them, even if me, if it may seem as though it was negative, but actually it's positive, okay? Um, it came from your heart. It came from your sincerity, so you being genuine. And we've got the five of swords here. See, that's energy of I wanting to one-up you. I want to one-up you. So this is somebody I feel like who either has an ego or somebody who likes to manipulate or somebody who... Um, wants to always one up somebody doesn't want to admit that they've done something wrong okay and we've also got the four pentacles here in reverse actually deep down they feel like they've lost in this game or lost you something about a loss um, and it feels competitive as well Virgo so your person may secretly want to say to you actually you you won I lost but it may look like as though it's the other way around, but that is not true, okay? So you're going to want to say to you that you do make them happy or you did make them happy in the Queen of Cups. They did feel loved by you. You have sacrificed a lot and they understand everything that you... However, the way things ended or issues in this connection, actually, they do feel accountable. Um, they f do feel responsible for whatever that has happened between the two of you. And they can't sleep at night again, but they don't really want to show to you that they are hurt. They don't want to show to you as though, you know, they did something wrong. That's, again, this energy, five of swords of uh, mind games, playing mind games, or wanting just you to think that you did something wrong. Maybe it could be something like gaslight lighting. They secretly also want to say to you that although it looks like, again, that they have won, but actually no, they have lost. You lost something very precious, very valuable. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe if you want further confirmation in terms of, um, you know, these readings are general, so it may not be 100% accurate. It may not uh, relate to each and every one of you and the details may, may be skewed also. So make sure if you want an accurate reading that's tailor-made just for you, send me an email. Um, There's so many options. You can book me through um, Linktree as well. Could be video call, live video call reading or two to three day emergency pre-recorded video reading, okay? Um, yeah, check it out if you want to. And if you don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. And um, every
everything is in the description box below okay and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when i post your videos take care virgo i love you bye